kind of clarify your position? Um, well, I think, like I said, they they didn't they didn't they didn't want me to talk for whatever reason. I might get the opportunity to speak now, and I mean, I've always tried to handle handle situations like this and, and handle speaking the best way that I can because in the day I'm, I'm representing myself and I'm representing my family back home. What was with, your with the use of social media though? I mean, uh, I mean, you could have in, in some ways did that. It was that also kind of it kind of explicitly told you that you know maybe you shouldn't post something on social media to kind of answer I guess some of these questions. Well, I think it's something that you just I I, I mean. It's a, this is a situation that is uncontrollable. Coaches can't control this situation. You know, they, they'll dictate who plays, but as far as the other, you know, variations to it, you know, they don't, you know, control it, honestly. Um, and, you know, like I said, this whole spring, ever since the game, um, they kind of wanted to let it play out. You know, they kind of, I guess, didn't think it was a thing or tried to let it, let it die down. Like, it wasn't something there. Cause it's always been the elephant in the room, um, and you know, it was like for me, no, no one came up to me the whole spring, coaches included. No one asked me how I felt. No one asked me um, what was on my mind. No one asked me, you know, how I felt about the things that were going on. Nobody asked me what my future in in hell, and um, that's that. So now it's like when we try and kind of handle the situation. Now it's for me, it's, it's kind of late. It's too late. You know, it, it, the narrative has already been, already been created, created. Was that a problem that you, you didn't get that kind of uh, response or even that inquiries from your coaches or anybody on the team? Was that, was that an issue for you? I think as a player, um, you definitely want to feel some concern from your coaches, I guess. But I don't necessarily think they were not concerned because they're, they're definitely concerned. Um, I just don't think that they were maybe bold enough to ask. Like it was a, I know it's there, but I don't want to talk about it. And I definitely think it was something that should have been talked about a long time ago instead of being talked about when it's here. It's like kind of like a stove. You know, you, after that game, the, the, stir, the, the stove got turned on. He got turned up. And it's now, it's like, okay, now we put the pot on the stove. Now we put the food on the stove. Now the, now, now the food's cooking, right? And, you know, come the season when it officially starts, the food to be done. How has your mindset changed from the championship game where you were pretty, you know, very diplomatic, very complimentary of, you know, what, what was going on, and then and then now, uh, based on all the stuff that's transpired since then? Well, like I said, um, I know I have a lot of, I have a lot of supporters. Um, I have a lot of followers, um, and, and I have a lot of people watching me at all times. And, um, now, with the success that I've had here in the first two years, I've, I've built a brand for myself. And you know, I've tried to represent this university in the best way that I can. I can um, stay out of trouble, make good grades, right, and, and doing all those things. So that's the thing. Guys, everybody else is here, feel free to like